Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general love reading for my friends Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out what's coming through for you, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. All right, we are definitely ready. So your energies, guys, Knight of Pentacles, Strength card, your person's energies, Ten of Cups, the Star, Meeting Energies, the Empress, the Devil, and bottom of the deck, we see the Eight of Pentacles. So this is quite, um, quite a flow. There are one, two, three, four, four major arcanas. Uh, the combination of energies between the Empress and the Devil, uh, it's uh, one of those cases where the Devil can play um, a powerful role and not in, um, in a low vibrational way. Because this can be quite a passion that some of you are experiencing with um, with a partner with a special person and there is uh, there is potential for growth of course effort is required uh, as always so bottom of the eight of Pentacles we see the word which is about cycles and lessons I would say uh, lessons because they can be helpful in the mastering even of the devil energy. So paying attention, just like the man in the Eight of Pentacles is uh, able to do, to all the details involved in a situation, in a connection, so that we recognize that every little detail matter and we can be successful. You are kind of vibing in this way because of the Knight of Pentacles influence. Um, reliable, trustworthy, honest. You can take your time to evaluate things in the proper way, paying attention. This can be a mindset that you are able to um, bring to the table in your everyday life and also when it comes to love partnerships. We know that the Knight of Pentacles can be the slowest of the four knights in the deck, but we also know that it will power through the finish line, even if it may take a little bit more time than the other knights. And he is holding the Ace of Pentacles, which is quite a grounded um, and trustworthy offer, the chance to build a partnership on solid grounds. The strength card is interesting because it can go several ways. Uh, the main feeling is about the, the ability to build trust within a partnership. Because within the strength card, there is trust for me. The lady, the beautiful lady, is dealing with a gorgeous but still dangerous lion and she is able to earn the trust of the lion because she is showing her true colors, her finer qualities. She is showing her true self. And there are powerful virtues involved, patience, the ability to uh, be understanding, to nurture, to take care of uh, connections, persons, and opportunities. The holding back that can be a factor with the strength card can be about the necessity to um, be aware that a powerful passion can be a positive thing within a love a connection, but it cannot be just the one thing that drives the connection forward. Otherwise, uh, if the passion goes away, 
we are left with nothing. And this is this is the divine power of the strength card in this flow. Holding back from the mere attraction. There is so much more. There is an Empress power that is asking to be developed. A healthy and balanced growth that can be achieved by joining forces eight of pentacles some of your persons guys uh, ten of cups star combination um, one of the uh, most auspicious i guess um, that we can think of the star is about the ability that this person may have to match the high frequencies that we can find in the strength card about honesty and truth the lady in the star card completely naked in front of the universe she doesn't care because she is amazing she is so in alignment with her highest frequencies that she is displaying her true self and she is calling in the type of opportunities that can be uh, the ones that resonate with her desires and that's why the star can be wish granted also this partnership for this person can be a wish granted the ten of cups goes along it is about uh, fulfillment of the heart after all ultimate emotional fulfillment uh, a partnership that is blessed with love sincere feelings respect fairness reciprocal support um, it's truly the chance to go the distance with a special person and for me this is and I love to see the strength card involved in the flow because this one is the example of uh, a partnership that can be a source of encouragement as I usually say even in the most challenging times of the journey because we know that life is not just about rainbows and unicorns. There are challenging times and we are called to find a way to power through them by even learning something, going with the word, and the opportunity to rely on a partnership like this one can be truly quite a source of courage to power through. This person may see this type of value in the connection with some of you guys um, this can be truly a desire a desire to fulfill the um, the goal of building a family even if not a marriage depending on what can be the desires of a person of course but there is honesty there is uh, truth there is the willingness to trust each other because we are willing to put in the work eight of pentacles because we see the we see the higher goal and in the meeting of the energies guys as i was saying a powerful combination i will start with the devil because it's always an energy that uh, catches the attention and first and foremost the devil for me of course can be the other side of the coin if we think about the lovers uh, an extreme passion in favor of um, a powerful connection but the devil is also an energy that um, is about excesses and we know that if an excess is brought uh, even over the limit it can become um, a difficult situation it can even become a problem so we need awareness and attention um, this can be about a, quite a meaningful and quite a, an overwhelming attraction uh, a physical attraction and we need to find a way to balance things out otherwise otherwise the devil energy uh, enjoys to see two persons chained up in a pattern without getting the proper understanding about it and this can as we were saying become a problem but if one of the two persons 
is able to get the pattern right, breaking free from the cycle, there is the chance to move forward. And that's why the world can truly be about mastering lessons so that we can implement them in a way that can allow us to be successful moving forward. And this is a combination that is an encouragement to take the best out from a powerful attra attraction, a powerful desire to be together and trying to find a way to manifest a healthy growth in favor of the partnership because the Empress um, is the embodiment of self-love and she has mastered the ability to recognize meaningful opportunities that are deserving of her nurturing and caring energies. And this major arcana is all about a healthy growth so that an opportunity can develop in a balanced way, in a fair way, so that it can achieve the highest potential, the fullest potential, desire, attraction can be factors super important within a love connection, but we need to make sure that a lot of others, um, a lot of other elements are covered so that truly the growth can be healthy. And that's why the strength card can be a little bit of holding back from the, the, the sheer desire, the pure desire to be together. The connection is promising, guys. It can truly be um, an opportunity to move towards quite um, a fulfilling partnership super fiery, super steamy, but there is an encouragement to pay attention to the most healthy way to enjoy and make the best out of the connection. So this energy, the Eight of Pentacles, is all about being focused and paying attention to the details that can make the difference. So guys, let's see. Quite interesting, to be honest. Uh, I will leave it at that for now. I truly hope it was helpful. I'll continue on Vimeo. I'll see you there if you want to join me. The link is below. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, guys, I wish you the best. Take very good care of you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.